Welcome to video 14. We're still on the rendering techniques here and from week 5, ARC 313, watercoloring in quarantine. This is drawing nicely. It's still wet, but it's, you know, if you look at closely in here, this is what we're after is these kind of mushroom blooms and these kinds of stains that are happening. And it dried just the way we want it. Uh, this dried up a little bit more, so I added a little bit more color on the people. Uh, when that dries, I'll then just hit some dirty water for their faces and uh, legs and any skin color. And maybe when after that dries, I'll throw a little bit more darkness for the hair. Um, this, all of this uh, kind of bled a little bit too much, so I added a few more flowers in there and then just bled it down into the darkness a little bit more. But that gives you a, a sort of the sense of the, the foliage techniques. So... Uh, we're gonna now move on to the sketch of the day. This is the one I did originally. I just want to show you really quickly the end result before we start painting. Uh, it's gonna take a couple of tries maybe, you know, because this will dry and then you'll come in and add a little bit more darkness. If you notice, clo uh, if you look closely and notice, it's dark on the bottom, but then I also bring the darkness up around the, the edges of the building too, and that helps the building pop come forward a little bit so when we're doing the darkness we're going to hit the bottoms and take it up alongside the building as well so here is our sketch of the day now where we can employ that so what we'll do here this is dried now so i can add the full fo background foliage trees and stuff like that here and uh, if we still have time i'll do some foreground foliage in here as well um, but you see how this kind of dried? It's almost like clouds in the ground. You know, we're just trying to get that kind of surface modulation, just mix it up a little bit. We're not painting every last blade of grass, but we're just trying to suggest that there's foliage up there. So back to our original process of getting a dark green going by adding a little more Payne's Gray, a little more yellow. And then the same thing here with our middle green. And then our lightest green for the tops. So I'm hitting the top first, where the sun is hitting the tops of the trees. And I'm coming in with my darker stuff down at the bottom of the trees and moving around the edge of the building too to help that pop forward, come forward a little bit. Same thing on the other side. Darkness in here, darkness down here. my detail brush to hit the tighter spots in between here in between the columns even though this is the background it's important that you not hit any of the foreground pieces because that will then forever be that color and so you won't be able to uh, add the color of the building in front of that so unlike opaque media where you can add more color over it because it's opaque and adds layers of whites or or other colors with watercolor you have to be careful all the way through to make sure the lightest parts of the painting always remain light because you can never go back and then we hit the middle green in between these two connect them up Uh, cat tears. I don't know if you can hear the cat in the background. He's enjoying this painting too. He looks like he's ready to jump up and mess it up. Just because he always wants to be in the middle of everything. A 
So we're, we're setting the potential potentiality there to, to kind of start doing its thing. But you see how it's coming in light and then gets closer to the building and darkens up and then that Villa Savoie just sort of pops off the page. While we're waiting for that to dry, we might as well hit the uh, foreground foliage now. Since this is all done, we can we can do this foreground foliage because we're not worried now about bleeding any of the red into the rest of the painting because the rest of the adjacencies are done. So I'm just going to add this darkness down here. Hit the lights, but again, now, if you remember from the technique, we're leaving holes in there. Same thing on this side. Lights up top. And this is just a nice way to kind of add a little bit of color to the front of the painting. Especially when you're doing modern architecture that doesn't have a lot of color to begin with. Um, this can add some affect to your painting. Okay, so we've got the same thing going here, but we've added a few leftover holes. And at this point, I'll let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to add um, some redness to kind of like create a sense of flowers and whatnot. So now I'm just going to monitor this. If this doesn't dry the way I like it, I'll just come in and add some more. Uh, stuff like I did here. Um, you can see here, you know, this is that flower effect. And then I'm going to let it sit and then till next week, week six, when we start working on the building, shades and shadows and materiality. But this is probably ready. We can start adding some of this, these cool flowers to the mix. The goal is to make sure you've filled all the holes and thrown a few more dots of flour up on top as well. And on the side too. It's important to throw some people in there for scale figures. Um, maybe uh, next week I'll throw in a couple of people so uh, uh, we get the sense of the scale of this building. Is it a two-story building? Is it a is it a house? Is it a office complex? Is it a major performing arts center? But this is looking pretty good right now. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, and we'll, we'll resume again next week and focus on this and maybe add a few more people and make some repairs to anything that, that we don't like the way it dried in here. Until then, have a great week. So for your, for your homework assignment, I would like you to uh, do a sketch of your design project and add foliage and sky and whatnot. And for this week, I want you to not paint the project so much, but paint everything else around it. And the following week, your homework assignment will be to finish that rendering with uh, the techniques that we have for, for buildings as well. So have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.